everyone it's me um I'm getting ready to go out as you can see uh, I just wanted to share with you I've had a lot of questions about how I been cleaning my brushes lately and as I've said many many times I'm very very lazy person actually so I'm always looking for ways to get the job done correctly but in a way that doesn't you know make me go to a lot of trouble I don't know maybe I put a lot of energy into that and I don't know if that makes me lazy or not but anyway I have a bottle of it's an old water bottle and I've made um, Encore's brush cleaner and I put it in here and I got this idea from Kat KTB something nine to something or other I never remember your numbers but I'm gonna put your link to the side over there um, the the idea is she had seen a I think it was a paintbrush cleaner like an artist's brush cleaner and it essentially was a jar with a sponge in it and it was her idea so she thought maybe we could like cut up a sponge and I guess other people have done this and have done t videos about it but um, I, I never saw them until after her idea came up but I wanted to show you guys what I do so I took a regular kind of you know the scrubby kitchen sponges that you use and I cut a circle or whatever shape your container is this container seems to be the perfect size for my brushes it's just a ramekin my husband picks these things up for nothing at thrift stores he's a thrift store junkie so he picked me up a bunch of these ramekins and I'm not a cook really so I use them for um, makeup and for microwaving eggs <laughs> anyway I cut it to the size that would fit inside my ramekin I'm just about ready for a new one as you can see it's pretty ucky but I'm gonna go ahead and show you anyway and then I put oh here's my small bottle I put some in a some of the brush cleaner in a smaller bottle so it's easier to handle it's just a flip top bottle and I squirt enough just just kind of wet the sponge see it's kind of wet now and you pretty much this is my um, low Cornell brush you pretty much just kind of do this back and forth I'm not real gentle with them you know you just go and you see how it suds up a bit and I have a little towel here that I use an old hair towel and just kind of smush it out and you see how it got all the gunk out there see and I just keep going until it comes up absolutely clean so I'm going again and it works great for me I can do it right at my desk or my little table see and it's coming up clean clean brush and goes in there in my brush holder now this is my eyeliner brush I just used it and I don't have to add more brush cleaner I just go in there see um, I use less brush cleaner this way I don't stand over the sink running water wasting water this is distilled water that I use so it's cleaner than my tap water even so it's not going to have all those minerals and stuff in it and it comes out clean see clean brush see if that'll focus for you there, clean brush but that's what I do very simple it works even on these white brushes look see that's got green in it that's my um, Mac brush and I go in there this one I kind of swirl around because it's a round brush the flat brushes I go back and forth the round brushes I sort of swirl I'm not violent with them because you know you don't want to ruin your brushes but I let the kind the sponge do the job of my hands but look at that it took all that green right out of there see can you see that And that's all I do it's pretty simple really it, it works on every brush I use it on my face brushes you can use um, you can make several different sizes of sponges but you need a container that that will fit tightly around that sponge so you could do bigger if you want to use do really big face brushes or um, my big face brushes I still do under the sink or um, tiny tiny if you want like a baby food jar size if it fits better 
on your to desktop. You could do something like this that you could put a lid on. This is my lip scrub. <laughs> but, you, but you could do something like this. You could put a lid on. I think I got this package at Big Lots. So that would work too. So yeah, um, these old, uh, any old empty jars would work. So yeah, that's all I do. Nice and clean. And then you just shape it with your towel and your fingers. Shape it like you would normally so that it dries in the right shape. And I use a very absorbent towel so they dry pretty quickly. And they don't, it doesn't take all night for them to dry. Um, I could do my makeup again later today, do another video. So honestly, I could do, um, I could, I could wash my brushes in between every single application of makeup and they'd be pretty much dry in a couple hours. So yeah, that's what I do. I hope that was helpful, you guys. A pretty short video today. I hope you liked it. hope it was helpful. Um, obviously, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm certainly willing to answer any questions you might have. It's um, not hard to do this. Um, I'll put an uh, on-course link to his brush cleaner in the side link in the sidebar over there. So you can make it yourself. It's really easy to make. It takes me like five minutes and the ingredients are pretty cheap. Stuff that you would probably have on hand anyway. Well, any of you that have kids would have some of it on hand anyway. So yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye.